It's finally here. There's no lunatic mode. Well, hopefully the story is better than the last Fire Emblem game. What are you doing, Step Rob? It really isn't a Fire Emblem game without a 1,000 year old with a little girl's body, huh? What could have brought you here? Yeah, I don't know what brought me here, but I know what's dragging me out. I was told this game would have difficult choices to make. I didn't expect it straight out of the gate. Which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh, I was born underneath an earth moon, I guess. And uh, yeah, this day is fine. Well, wonders never cease. It seems yep, we share uh, our day of birth. How strange. Strange indeed. I made it on the spot, though. So I guess we're birthday so siblings. Familiar. Don't you dare yawn. If you yawn, who you end up yawning, you punk. It's true. You all probably can guess which house I'm going for. That's right, Best Boy's house. I mean, he's a lovable guy. Who could say no to him? Ah, this music. Yeah, I could work with this. Oh, beat drop. So this, as in, so this is my life right now? I was in the middle of a battle, you know. Who wants I need to get back. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? I'm your child who forgot the her own name. Bits. Fooey. That child hey, you say Fooey just life. proves my point. And what does that make you? Uh, not dead. Wow, you're Correct. a modest one, you ain't you? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one. It should have been clawed if I were lucky. When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Well, we all have to die one day. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Mm, it's cool. I'll just stay here with you. What's the Wi-Fi password in this place? You got some spare DVDs or something? As though I could stand idly by and watch that come to pass. Huh? <sighs> Why couldn't you have been clawed? I'd love to bend your ear as we you travel. You can bend me any way you want, Claude. Oh, whoa. That was that out loud? Uh, joking. Unless... Joking aside, Claude's personality speaks to me, and it's someone I could be friends with. I mean, between blonde chrome, bleached Cordelia, and chocolate Gaius, it's an easy first pick. Is that right? I thought the same. Don't you dare. Oh god, it's contagious. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say she's related to Soso or the lady in the intro because if there's one thing I've learned from Fire Emblem games, if you have the same shade of hair color, you're related. Done deal. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Well, I have a good idea who I'm gonna be avoiding at this school. You know, this game has a lot of cutscenes, but it's nice to look at. A lot of Vaughns here. I feel like I'm in Germany. Hey, look, it's Edgeguard. My name is Edelgard von Hressbauk. Oh, I did not remember that at all. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. Hey, go big or go Plans. home, right? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Oh, so you also cry yourself to sleep at night, huh? I feel like I might be a minor, but since this is probably based off of medieval Europe... And I do like a man who knows what he wants. Lock the door. I'm just gonna skedaddle. I am Tomas, the librarian. Hello, if you Tomas. Have me, do not hesitate to Can you uh, let me get through? Seriously, move your big rear, Tomas. Was there any doubt what house I'd pick? Granted, the members from the other houses look cooler, but hey, I love being on the underdog side, so this works out. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me. Better, well, right? I didn't think my Flattered, motives would really? be exposed so fast, but Whoops. here I am. Stark naked. Maybe I should choose my Figuratively, of course. Uh, let's go, yeah, Golden Deers. Caca, caca. Hmm. Wait, no, well, that's a crow. Let's see, the lions go. 
And the eagles go... What sound does a deer make? 